Hi guys, this is Mr. Farmer. If you're a student or a farmer professional around the globe, you must know about the European Medicines Agency basics to understand the global farmer concepts. The European Medicines Agency marketing authorization topic is the favorite topic and most discussed topic in interviews. European Medicines Agency is an important agency that takes the second major medicine growth globally and the Emma is roughly parallel to the drug part of the S Food and Drug Administration but without centralization. So, let's see today what is the European Medicines Agency and understand the important concept of marketing authorization. Welcome guys, this is Pharma Portal. The pharma you need to know, share and grow. The European Medicines Agency and the European Union regulatory body is responsible for the scientific evaluation and supervision of medicines developed by pharmaceutical companies for use in the European Union for Human and Veterinary. European Medicines Evaluation Agency was founded in 1995 to protect public and animal health by assessing medicines. European Medicines Evaluation Agency was renamed to European Medicines Agency in 2009. So, what does the European Medicines Agency do? They facilitate development and access to medicines, evaluate applications for marketing authorization, monitor the safety of medicines across their life e-cycle, provide information to healthcare professionals and patients. In short, the main reason for starting the European Medicines Agency was to harmonize the work being done by the individual regulatory bodies in Europe. European Medicines Agency works closely with regulatory authorities of the member states of the European Union and the European Economic Area. Initially, the European Economic Area comprised 28 member states plus Iceland, Liechtenstein, and Norway. Later the United Kingdom notified the European Council of its intention to withdraw from Europe and the procedure is called Brexit. So, the European Union is an economic and political union of 27 countries that operates an internal or single market that allows free movement of goods, capital, services, and people between member states and the 27 European Union countries are listed here for your reference. Now the European Economic Area includes 27 European Union countries and Iceland, Liechtenstein, and Norway. It allows them to be part of the European Union single market. European Union candidate countries are countries that are already in the process of incorporating European Union legislation into national law and so far, Turkey, Montenegro, Macedonia, Serbia, Albania are five European Union candidate countries. The European Medicines Agency has seven scientific committees and several working parties and related groups which conduct the scientific work of the agency. The seven scientific committees are given here for your reference, which we will discuss more in the upcoming videos. If you need to understand European Medicines Agency you must understand these basic definitions. Here we have captured the important definitions that you must be well versed and have a clear understanding to get a clear picture of European Medicines Agency marketing authorizations. Also, here we have represented a medicine life cycle for reference. You can pause the video here and read the basics definitions and then play the video on to understand the European Medicines Agency marketing authorizations. Now you know the important definitions in European Medicines Agency, now let's see about the different marketing authorizations procedures. There are four procedures for obtaining a marketing authorization and they are centralized procedure, national procedure, mutual recognition, and decentralized procedure. Marketing authorization is initially valid for five years and usually subject to one renewal. Let's have a general overlook of these procedures and in detail about each procedure and their timelines and approval in the upcoming videos. Now let us see the first procedure the centralized procedure, the European Union wide procedure for the authorization of medicines, where there is a single application, a single evaluation, and a single authorization throughout the European Union. 
the centralized procedure is compulsory for human medicines containing a new active substance to treat HIV, AIDS, cancer, diabetes, neurodegenerative diseases, autoimmune and other immune dysfunctions, viral diseases, medicines derived from biotechnology processes, such as genetic engineering, advanced therapy medicines, such as gene therapy, somatic cell therapy or tissue engineered medicines, orphan medicines, medicines for rare diseases, veterinary medicines for use as growth or yield enhancers. It is optional for other medicines, containing new active substances for indications other than those stated above, that is a significant therapeutic, scientific, or technical innovation whose authorization would be in the interest of public or animal health at European Union level. You can see the flowchart of the centralized procedure showed in the video for reference. At least seven months before submission, the applicant should notify the European Medicines Agency of their intention to submit an application. The centralized procedure also is an option for generic medicinal products where the reference product is authorized by the community. In the centralized procedure, the applicant applies to the European Medicines Agency for marketing authorization and finally receives one European approval, which is valid in all 27 countries in the community, as well as Norway, Iceland, and Liechtenstein. For any scientific evaluation, a rapporteur, and if relevant, a co-rapporteur is appointed from amongst the members of the Committee for Human Medicinal Products. A rapporteur and co-rapporteur experts from each member states to evaluate the application dossier. The full process takes up to 210 active days, but clock stops are possible. Medicinal products authorized through the centralized procedure benefit from the 10-year period. Medicines that are granted marketing authorization by the European Commission can be marketed throughout the EU. Now let's see about mutual recognition procedure. Mutual recognition means a marketing authorization is granted in one member state. Reference member state must be recognized by other member states. Concerned member states. The objective of this procedure is to obtain marketing authorizations in one or the several member states when the medicinal product has already been granted authorization by at least one country in the European community. If there is no marketing authorization in any European Union member state, the decentralized procedure should be used. A similar application for this procedure can be sent to one or more member states and informed to the respective member states. When a member state decides to assess the application it becomes the reference member state. It announces the decision to the other member states which then become the concerned member states to whom applications have also been submitted by the applicant. The mutual recognition procedure is divided into the following steps. 1. National validation by the reference member state. 2. Preparation or update of assessment report by reference member state. 90 days. 3. Validation by the concerned member states. 4. Approval by the concerned member states. 90 days. 5. Discussion at the coordination group level, if needed. 6. National marketing authorization step. This evaluation procedure undertaken by the reference member state may take up to 210 days and ends with the granting of marketing authorization in that member state. It can also occur that a marketing authorization had already been granted by the reference member state. In such a case, it shall update the existing assessment report in 90 days. Upon the positive decision, a national marketing authorization will be granted in each of the concerned member states. The mutual recognition procedure must be used for the following products. Medicinal products containing new active substances outside the centralized therapeutic areas. Over-the-counter products. Homeopathic medicinal products. Generic products. Also generic versions of products authorized by the centralized procedure before November 2005 with the exception of that biotechnology derived, abridged applications, well-established use, or line extensions of old mutual recognition procedures. Let us now see the third procedure, the decentralized procedure. 
The objective of this procedure is to obtain marketing authorizations in the several member states when no marketing authorization has been granted in the European community. The decentralized procedure covers all medicinal products not authorized in the European Union that offer products in which the centralized procedure is not mandatory. The applicant should send an application to the competent authorities of each of the member states where there is intent to obtain a marketing authorization. Unlike mutual recognition procedures, here the applicant may assign a country to act as the reference member state. The reference member state will start the procedure after the application is determined to be complete by both the reference member state and all the concerned member states. The reference member state prepares the draft assessment report on day 120 and may close the procedure if a consensus has been reached between the concerned member states and the reference member state. Otherwise, the concerned member states has 90 more days to approve the draft assessment report and other documents. The final procedure is the national procedure. Each European Union member state's competent authority is responsible for granting marketing authorizations for medicinal products placed on its market, except medicinal products authorized using community procedures. Since January 1998, independent national procedures have been limited strictly to the initial phase of mutual recognition and to medicinal products not to be authorized in more than one member state. The documents submitted to authority are very specific to that authority and evaluation of the application is carried out by the same member state. The evaluation time for an application for national marketing authorization is 210 days from the receipt of the application. Independent national procedures can also be used for extensions of authorized medicinal products as far as no prior harmonization has been achieved for the initial marketing authorization. Hope now you had a clear shot and summarized understanding of European Medicines Agency's marketing authorization procedures. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you liked this video. If you liked it hit the like button and share this video with your friends, colleagues, and family members. For regular updates hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for immediate video release notifications. If you have any doubts and suggestions kindly provide them in the comments. See you all in another exciting video in Pharma Portal. This is Mr. Farmer signing off.